Hi Aquarius, I'm going to do um, your bonus reading for today. We're going to take a look to see what your person's true intentions are towards you. Uh, can you trust them and the overall advice for the situation? <clears throat> but before we get started, I wrote down some channel messages when I was pre-shuffling. Let me get those for you. So when I was pre-shuffling, before I even mentioned the messages, um, the Ten of Cups and the King of Pentacles try to come out the deck, which are really great cards. So you may be ready to deal with someone that's wealthy. Someone wealthy may be ready to come towards you. Um, and the Ten of Cups, you know, that represents marriage, um, a blended family. And then um, Pisces came to mind. So some of you may be dealing with a Pisces or maybe a Pisces is about to come your way. Then the song I channeled is Before I Let You Go, the new version by Beyonce. And the part that stuck out to me was you make me happy. So um, either some of you have a new person coming towards you that's going to make you happy or um, the person you're dealing with that's on your mind, you know, that person is going to step up to the plate and make you happy. Um, and then I heard, I swear I'm going to risk it all for you. So I don't know what that's about. Um... And then I see a sunset. So maybe some of you may be ready to vacation together or maybe in the past y'all looked at sunsets together. I'm not sure. Um, then I heard more than friends. So someone may want to be more than friends with you. And then Christmas. So Christmas may be significant to some of you. So something may have happened on Christmas. Um, you know, so just take those messages however it resonates. And let's get started. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, can you please bless this message? I'm sorry, this reading for Aquarius and their person. Can you please give clear, accurate messages? Can you tell me what the person, the person that's on Aquarius' mind, what is their true intentions for Aquarius? What is this person's true intentions for Aquarius? Okay, as I'm shuffling and looking at the deck, I've seen the Empress so many times. And um, for whatever reason, pregnancy came to mind. Because that does represent fertility as well. But some of you may be pregnant or ready to get pregnant. Can Aquarius trust this person? Can Aquarius trust this person, Spirit? What is the overall advice for Aquarius and their person? Spirit, can you clarify the Six of Pentacles? Ooh. Okay. Can you clarify the Nine of Swords? Can you clarify this Ten of Pentacles? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Aquarius? Oh, that popped up. Oh, wow. Yes, I'm loving this already. Aquarius, I cannot lie. I fucking love every single card that came out right now. This reading is so bomb. So let's go ahead and get started. So as far as your person's true intentions, you have the Six of Pentacles clarified by the Six of Wands. This is Taurus energy. Um, so Six of Pentacles represents Taurus. And the Six of Wands represents Leo. Now, when I did the channel messages, did I not say that some of you will have a wealthy man coming into your life? Okay? The Six of Pentacles represents very balanced people. It represents reciprocity. Um, it means that you're going to find financial and material security. It's like the universe uh, is rewarding you with generosity. <clears throat> so you're going to have um, a wealthy man come into your life. He is going to bring so much happiness to your life. And he wants to share his wealth with you. He wants to give to you. Like he want to give as much as you give. Because I, I feel like a lot of you may be someone who is always the giver in the relationship. Well, he wants to reciprocate that times 10. And, you know, it, it, this could be a woman as well. So you can reverse the roles <clears throat> if need to be. 
Um, now, this person may also be like a humanitarian or this may be you. But whatever it is, you know, it just lets me know that this person is all about finance, money, wealth, and they're looking for someone to share with and it's going to be you because the six of wands clarify this card. Now, this just lets me know that um, this is going to be someone that you're going to be able to share your success with. Um, they're going to bring some stability in your life. You're both going to share each other's success together, as a matter of fact. Because um, I already feel like this person is successful. But I feel like for most of you, you're on your way there. But that this person is going to be someone that's going to give you that little push, that little nudge to, you know, pretty much get you there. Or say if you have a business idea that you want to do, they're going to be the ones to finance that business for you. Um... So, and this just lets me know, like, you know, some of you are already in the process or kind of blowing up in some type of way. And I'm getting social media for most of you. So you may be getting a lot of followers or likes. Um, this is a good card for influencers or tarot readers. So if you're trying to make some type of skill or hobby or career, go ahead because this person is going to support you financially, mentally, emotionally. They're going to check all your boxes. Now, when I ask spirit, can you trust this person? You receive the nine of swords. The nine of swords is Gem Gemini energy. So what I feel like is this. Most of you, well, not most. Some of you may have already met this person. Or this can be somebody from your past that may be well off that's coming back to help you in some type of way. But I feel like for most of you, you have your guard up. Um, and you're having anxiety over this connection. And it's like, you don't know what to do. It's, it's You're having sleepless nights. Um, and it's like, you're, you know, creating scenarios in your head that's not true, but you're starting to believe it. So you just got to remember, when you think negative thoughts, you're going to breed negative actions. But keep in mind that um, your spirit guides is urging you to stop doing that. Because this person could be, you know, the confidant you need in your life to turn things around for you. This could be someone that's going to help you with your issues, whatever you're going through. And even if for some of you, if they are, if you already know this person, they may be the cause of some of your issues. They're willing to change and work it out with you. They don't want to be who they were in the past. If this is someone from your past we're speaking of. But for a lot of you, I feel like you have someone new coming in. <clears throat> Now, the King of Wands clarify the nine, the nine of Swords. So, this is Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, January Capricorn, and Scorpio energy. This person wants you to know that they want to be a good father or a good stepfather. They would love to be your husband one day. And they're going to be a faithful husband because the King of Wands do not cheat. Now, in their younger years, yeah, this person was a hoe. However, I feel like they've been through a lot in life. Um, you know, they experienced a lot of things. They may have been with a lot of different women or a lot of different men, whatever. Um, and now they feel like, you know, you're that person. Like, you do it for them. So you don't even have to worry. Like, get out of this nine of swords energy. You know, you don't need to have that anxiety. You don't need to create fake scenarios in your head. This is going to be the real deal. This, this person is ready to step up. Like, the universe is telling you, yes, um, you know, this is going to be someone you should be close to, align with, collaborating with, whether that's just business, friendship, or romance. Like, you can have the best of both worlds. This could be your best friend, your lover, and your business partner. Um, so don't pass up this, uh, this opportunity. You need to seize the moment. Um, but... You know, this person is meant to be someone who can come into your life and teach you some things to lead you and guide you. You can definitely trust this person because the King of Wands is someone that you can trust and that you can learn from. And remember, that was the question I asked Spirit. Can you trust this person? So Spirit is telling you, yes, you can trust this person. Now for the overall advice, um... You have the four wands, which is clarified by the ten of pentacles. So the four wands, this is Aries energy, and this lets me know that this is your twin flame. 
This is this card represents home. So I see that, you know, your person, you know, they, they see a future with you. They want a happy home with you. And for some of you, they may actually buy you a house. Um, or you may move in with this person. If you already know this person, then you may already be talking about um, moving in with one another. This is also the card of yes. So whatever you're thinking, whatever you're manifesting, when it comes to this connection, yes, it's going to happen. This is also a very sexual card. So I feel like you and this person is going to have some amazing sexual chemistry between one another. So not only is the love and, you know, the bond is going to be um, crazy, but the sex is going to be out like amazing as well. So it's like you can't lose in this connection. This person is going to be such a positive influence on your life. This is going to be someone that you can lean on. Um... Like I said, I, so far, I love everything about this reading. Now, keep in mind that the four ones was clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, which is Capricorn energy. Um, and the Ten of Pentacles represents marriage. So, like I was saying, you know, your person wants a marriage with you. And Pentacles speaks about career and finances and money. So, when the Ten of Pentacles comes out, this means that you're meant to leave a legacy for your offspring. And, you know, your person, and a lot of times with the Ten of Pentacles, this is someone, you may be dealing with someone that's already wealthy. And like I said, um, wait, let me get my book. Cause didn't I say the Ten of Pentacles? I tried to pop out at first. Let me see. Okay, no, that was the King of Pentacles. My apologies. But the Ten of Pentacles... Um, represents marriage as well the ten of cups represents marriages too but the ten of pentacles this is a little different so this is pretty much marrying like someone that's pretty much coming from money or established their own money in their own career so now they're financially well off so they want to help build you up they want to help you to be able to leave a legacy for your kids if you have some or for the children you two may have together so Overall, um, your person has good intentions towards you. They want to be in a committed relationship with you. They see marriage for the future. They see a home. Um, they want to help build up your finances. They want to help you with your career. They want to love you. Um, I just feel like you can't lose. This is just such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful connection. Um, let's get some angel messages. Even though I don't even feel like you all need any other messages because this is just so positive right now. Let's take a look to see what's going on. Spirit, can you please give clear, accurate messages for Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know, Spirit? Look, this says take... Oops. Take action. So get out of that nine of swords energy. Get out of your head. You don't need to have anxiety about this connection. You don't have to be scared. Let your guard down. This is the person for you. All right, give me more messages for Aquarius. So this says forgiveness. So if this is someone that you already know, if this is somebody from your past, your guides are urging you to forgive this person. <clears throat> trust <laughs> so remember the second question when i asked spirit i said can they trust this person yes you can trust this person any other messages spirit anything else that aquarius need to know oh that's too many cards compromise so all it's going to take is a bit of compromising and i feel like you know um YouTube will be on the right track. And at the bottom of the deck, it says you're ready. So you're ready to receive this type of love. Um, and this says the situation will improve. So if this is somebody from the past, whatever you went through, um, you're going to get through it because it's going to improve. So you really have nothing to worry about. So this was such a great reading, Aquarius. And I will talk to you next week for your um, February monthly reading. Please comment below and let me know if any of you met anyone new, if you met someone financially well off, if you are in love right now, I would love to know. Thank you.